one who got the bill, and his best friend called up on the hill. Let's watch them help him play, playing all day. The adventures of Clown Top Bill and his best friend Goku. Are we going on an adventure today, Bill? We are, Goku, and it's a beauty. What's it called? It's called King of the Sheep. Of course, Mrs. Whistlehead. Right away, Mrs. Whistlehead. What did she say, Bill? We have to get over to her place right now. What's the problem? I don't know, Corky, but it sounds like an emergency. An emergency? If it's an emergency, we've got to help. Too right, Corky. <laughs> Do you think there's a problem with Mrs. Whistlehead's sheep? Impossible. The sheep have never looked better. <laughs> And they sound great too, Bill. Let's get to Mrs. Whistlehead's house so we can find out what this trouble is. Will Mrs. Whistlehead be waiting for us, Bill? She said she would be calling. And she is, Bill. Good morning, Mrs. Whistlehead. We're here just like you ask. You haven't seen Timmy, have you? Uh, no, we haven't. That naughty dog's run off. Can we help? You certainly can. Once I find Timmy, you can help get rid of them. Then, Mrs. Whistlehead. Oh, do be quiet. They're such a nuisance. The sooner they're all gone, the better. You don't mean... And you want us to help. I couldn't do it without you, but I must find Timmy first. And what should we do, Mrs. Whistlehead? You make a start and get everything ready, because when I come back, they're going. <laughs> Bill? I know, Corky. Mrs. Whistlehead wants to get rid of her sheep. I miss the sheep. Me too, Corky. And Mrs. Whistlehead wants us to help. We said we would, Corky, or I won't like it. We're sorry, sheep, but Mrs. Whistlehead wants to sell you. And we promised to help. This is sad, Bill. You said it, Corky. And we're not the only ones who are sad. Just think of the great wild bully. What will he do without the sheep? <laughs> He'll have no one to try and let loose. I suppose we'd better start getting the sheep ready. I don't really feel like it, though. Me neither. <laughs> Look who it is, Bill. We were just talking about you, Great Wild Bully. You'll never set the sheep free again. Because we're going to load up the sheep so Mrs. Whistlehead can get rid of them. <laughs> it was a shock to us too. Come on, Corky. Let's get cracking. We'll load the sheep onto the truck, Corky. So they're all ready for when Mrs. Whistlehead gets back. Righto, sheep. In you go. <laughs> I still can't believe this is happening, Corky. Me either, Bill. We should have all the sheep in the truck now, Bill. I think you're right, Corky. Why me down? Where did they go? Over there, Bill. <laughs> Will you look at that? The great wild bullies put them back. Great Wild Bully, we've got to get these sheep ready. Mrs. Whistlehead wants to sell them. What a turn up, Corky. We're trying to take the sheep. And the Great Wild Bully is stopping us. Shouldn't it be the other way around, Bill? It should, Corky. We can't think about that now. How can we get those sheep onto the truck? <laughs> You know what I'm thinking, Corky? What, Bill? A digger. We'll use it to dig under the Great Wild Bulls. Then under the fence. And we'll lead the sheep to the truck without him knowing. Great thinking, Bill. Ready to dig, Corky? Ready to dig, Bill. Thank <laughs> you.
You think we're close to the sheep, Bill? We must be. Let's listen for them. I hear the sheep, Bill. Get ready to dig our way up, Morgy. Wait a minute, Bill. They're moving. They must be going to the far end of the paddock. We'll follow them. We seem to have been going for a long time, Bill. You're right, Corky. The end of the sheep paddock can't be far away now. We should have a look where we are, Bill. Good idea, Corky. This must be the end of the paddock. Take us up, Bill. Up we go. <laughs> This doesn't look like the sheep had it. It looks more like our kitchen. It is our kitchen. <laughs> the great whirlpool. He tricked us, Bill. And now we've got a great big hole in our kitchen. And great big holes in a kitchen aren't very useful. That great wild woolly makes me hopping mad. No time for that, Bill. We have to round up those sheep. If we can't get the sheep from below, we'll get them from above. Is the helicopter, Bill? You've got it in one, Corky. We'll beat the great wild woolly yet. Ready for takeoff, Bill? Ready, Corky. Look out, great wild woolly! Here we come! <laughs> Prepare for sheep grab, Bill. Sheep grab it is, Corky. <laughs> We've got them, Corky. It's lucky the great wild woolly doesn't know how to fly. You're right there, Corky. Can't stop us now. <laughs> Sheep. 
<laughs> but you said you were, Mrs. Whistlehead. This morning. I wasn't talking about the sheep. You weren't? I was talking about Timmy and his fleas. Fleas? I needed your help to give him a good bath and get rid of those fleas. And when you said we should make a start... I meant that you should start getting the bath ready. But, Mrs Whistlehead, you made it sound like an emergency. It is an emergency. The fleas are jumping on everything. Oh, we see what you mean. So the sheep are staying? Of course. They're like family to me. Isn't that right, sheep? Uh, sheep? Where are they now? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the great wild woolly has done it again. Mrs. Whistlehead, we'll give Timmy a bath later. Why well, don't we get your sheep back? Yes, yes, do hurry. Thank you.